A user asks how to measure the side of a cone while working in Tinkercad. I've got a strategy, so let's get cracking. So real quickly, a user reached out saying, hey, how do you measure the length of this side in Tinkercad? So this is a funnel project I had. They just asked about a general cone, so I launched my funnel project. This tutorial shows you how to use a special high-res cone. We made this fun funnel that prints in place. If you want to find that tutorial, I'll make sure there is a link up here in the cards. So I duplicated this part and I ungrouped it so you can see the individual pieces. We've just got tubes. These make the rim around it. I give you a group that you could also add a keychain. We cut this off at an angle. Just little things like that to make this work well. And because it's got that cone, it'll likely print well, even though there are no supports. So this is how I would measure this. If I don't need it to be perfect, I would just cruise a cube out on it. Now I can take this cube while it's on the living work plane. I'm going to set the nudge to 0.1. Or if I wanted to be more precise, I could set it to off. That lets it micro nudge. And I can stretch this up until it hits the edge of that blue. Once again, I'm just trying to get as precise as I can. I'll even show you that micro nudge by setting it to off. That sets the nudge to a hundredth of a millimeter. And I'm going to get it as close as I can to that side. Push in my scroll wheel so I can pan. And let's pull this down to right there. Look at it from every angle to make sure we've got it just the way we want. And now I can look at this shape and say, oh, that side was 33.3. .3. Now I'm not sure why the user wanted that number, but that's one way you can get it. The work plane back down here. Let me show you one other thing we can do. If we had a cone or a pyramid, I'm going to shift stretch this side right here and I'm going to put an easy number. I'm going to just put 40 exactly. That way we'll keep it even. And I'm going to stretch it a little taller. Once again, this time I'm going to pick an easy number like 50. <laughs> we can also use formulas to find this. Real quickly, let me show you how. I've simply opened a browser. I'm going to Google and I want to do find length pyramid side and I'm going to put calculator. Don't have to type it all. Once you've got that, it gives you many to pick from. I'm going to go to calculator soup. I had a square pyramid and notice all we need is side length A. They give you a picture and we need the height. I'm going to pick millimeters just because that's what I'm going to be using. And going back to our shape, remember we did 40 on a side and we chose a height of 50 simply hit calculate and bingo check out all the information you have available to you so there you have it friends a couple of techniques that'll help you as you're trying to become more accurate while you're 3d printing as i wrap up friends i do want to send a shout out to all my supporters on patreon make sure you check the description down below or the bit.ly up above if you want to learn more and of course friends i want to thank you for watching don't forget Every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or hit subscribe, you're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.